Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Godric Manston My Manager career. We're into episode number 23 here and we've got a game coming up today against Ipswich on the 7th of April and then we've got a game against Nottingham Forest on the 10th of April as well, guys. Only a few games remaining this season and as you can see from the table, we're currently sitting in 12th place with 61 points, 40 games played and we've still got a good bit of making up to do to make it into 6th place. I think it's on about 67 points up there so we've got a little bit of a way to go before the end of the season but if we play well and and we get some good wins we may just make it in time hopefully we can do that otherwise we won't be getting anywhere near the premier league this season or next season so hopefully we can get to the playoffs and then there'll be an epic live stream if we can make it to the playoff final where we will be playing against one of the teams to make our way into the Premier League, which would be awesome, guys. But for now, we're going to be heading into the next uh, game in this episode, which is against Ipswich. And this game is going to be a pretty big one, as all of them are at the end of the season. It's what we're focusing on now is the league. We're at home for this game against Ipswich, as you can see. And we're looking for another three points on the table if we can get it. We'll have to wait and see. We're currently sitting down in 11th or 12th place. As you can see, 6th place Sunderland have 67 points, like we said. And uh, as you can see from the lineup today, we've got a 4-3-3 formation. What Watkins, Judge and McEachern in the midfield. Mapai up top, who's playing really well at the moment. Edwards on the right, who's not playing too well at the moment as well. And Josephine on the left, who's doing pretty good. So we've got a pretty decent line again, once again, for this game. Can we get a decent result out of it? As you can see from the uh, Ipswich lineup, they're playing a 4-4-2-2 formation. And uh, a 4 4 2 formation, sorry. And uh, they've got like the likes of Freddie Sears and Mutton Waghorn up front. And they're looking for a win just as much as we are. They're not doing too well in the league. I don't think they can make playoffs this season, but we can. So we've got something to aim for. They haven't got much left to aim for this season. So hopefully we can use that to our advantage and get something out of this game. Here we come forward with the first chance in the sixth minute now. Mapai on the ball has a shot there. And it just goes wide of the goal. Unlucky didn't put that one in the back of the net. Should really be hitting that on target there. But coming forward down the right wing now, Edwards on the ball looking to come inside here. Cuts inside, looks to get across into the middle there to Mabai and the goalkeeper has to make a really really tight save to get that one pushed over the crossbar 30th minute into this game now guys here comes a chance for Ipswich an open defense looks like we're going to be conceding here a shot there great save from Bentley sees it gets put away by the defense and just about got away and we just get it cleared there and somehow we get the goalkeeper to scramble on top of that one very very lucky indeed almost conceded a goal there in the 32nd a minute but guys here we come forward with the next chance of this game from the counter attack Edwards there laying it to Watkins Watkins Zang it to Mapai. Back to uh, Watkins once again. Watkins making his way forward down the right wing now. Can we get this in the box here? Perfectly to Mapai, who lays it central there to Joseph. Ooh, and he goes and scores in this game to make it 1 0 on the scoreline. 34 minutes played. And Joseph Foon opens the scoring up with a really nice goal. Watkins with the cross into the box to Mapai. One touchdown from Mapai. It goes straight into the box to Joseph Foon. And a really nice team goal there to lead to a goal, making it 1 0 in this game. Florian Joseph Foon going and getting his seventh goal in the league this season. And a very, very nice one. It was a great team goal that led to the build-up for that one. And here we come with a chance. Can we get something out of this game for Ipswich this time? It's 1-0 to Brentford still. We're just approaching half-time with five minutes to go and a chance for them to have a shot at the near post here. Good save from Bentley. And it goes out of play for a corner kick, guys. Coming forward in the 45th minute. Looks like we might manage to get this one clear. But those are going to come forward with another chance here. Sears on the ball. Laying it central there to uh, Waghorn. Lay off on the edge of the box. They're trying to get the shots away then. And it goes out of play there. And there goes the half-time whistle in this game. It's currently 1-0 on the scoreline to Brentford. Can we hold this lead to the final whistle? We need the three points out of this game desperately to progress on in the league. If we don't get it, I fear that we may not make playoffs this season. And if we don't, that'll be a very, very disappointing outcome. Guys, if we don't make playoffs, what are we going to do at the end of the season? Let me know down in the comments what you think we should be doing. Should we stay here at Brentford and fight for another season? Should we leave and look for another club in a different league or in a same league? We'll have to let me know in the comments. We might have to figure that one out pretty soon. But guys, as you can see there, Kolsku is getting a tackle on Joseph Rooney getting taken out. And uh, Romain Sawyers now comes onto the pitch, hopefully to get a decent chance away. Mapai laying it off nicely there to Sawyers here with the chance and a shot there just wide of the goal wasn't able to put that one in 79 minutes played now we've got a couple more chances to go for Ipswich can they make this 1-1 in this game laying it around nicely on the edge of the area they've got a good chance board on the ball here can we do anything with it they've got a ball on the back of the post there and they go and put it in Garner on the ball goes and finishes that one and it hits the back of the net to make it 1-1 one in this game in the 81st minute they've gone and equalized this isn't the result we were looking for there's only nine minutes remaining and they've gone and played it so nicely through the defense ripped them apart and they've gone and put that one in the back of the net to make it one one in this game with about nine eight minutes to go 
have we got any time to bring this back or is this game going to end at 1-1 or are they going to get another goal come on Brentford can we do it here coming forward with a chance down the right wing now a chance here for Edwards to take this shot there what a save that should have been 2-1 85th minute that should have been the game winning goal but the keeper made a fantastic save to keep that one out and here they come forward with a chance of their own now how have they not put that one in guys that was so close 90th minute chances for both teams and neither able to put them away the score ends here at 1-1 in this game and we're going to be heading out of that now with a point on the table which is quite disappointing after the performance we put in it's pretty good but defensively we got let down there and we conceded a silly goal and they played well to get that goal as well so we're going to be heading out with one point on the table after that game and uh, hopefully we can still make playoffs we'll have to wait and see what the table looks like after this game but guys just as we left we thought we'd take a look at um some cars because as you know we've been driving this car around for a while it's a kind of it's a kind of um it's, it's like a decent sized suv so it's not too bad we're here just here at the car dealership in brentford and i thought i'd let you guys have a choice of what type of car we might want to purchase in the coming episodes before the end of the season just to um have a new car as you can see on the money we've got 150 odd grand to spend so we've got quite a bit of money and as you can see from the cars here, the first one, guys, here is the sports car here on the right. Uh, this red one here is the sports cars um, category. So if you want to choose some sports cars, then hit number one on the poll. If you always want to choose, uh, I think it's coupes is the next one, then pick this this one here number two because that could be pretty cool ignore the mini that wasn't me there's an suv is the next one as well and um that's looking pretty cool so if you want an suv pick number three and guys if you want to see a um i think these ones were the sedans i wasn't quite sure but if you want to pick sedans then go and pick um this one this one's a coupe either way there's going to be sports there's going to be suv there's going to be coupes and sedans to pick from in the types and then in the next episode we will be choosing a car from that type of five choices for you guys to pick within our price range to hopefully get as you can see from the table guys we're into 11th place now so we're still quite close behind we're on 62 points and uh i think sixth still has 67 so what is that? We need another five points to go from the uh, remaining games this season. We've got a game against Nottingham Forest coming up now away from home at the Forest Park Stadium. Can we get a result here? We need, we desperately need the three points now to push up. As you can see, we're in 11th place. They're down in 18th, so we've got a great chance. 41 games played this season, 16 wins, 14 draws, 11 losses. And as you can see from their line, they're playing a 4-4-1-1 formation. Valios leading the line with Clow just in behind him. And they've got the likes of Matt Mills and McChan at the back there as well. So hopefully we can get three points out of this game we've got a good chance we're playing the same lineup as you can see here guys um Mapai, josephine edwards watkins mckechran judge henry egan Bellan, and dasab guard and as you guys know if you remember from a couple episodes ago uh josephine's handed in a um well he's leaving at the end of the season pretty much so we're gonna have to be finding a new left winger so you guys might have to help me decide on that in the next uh, season's pre-season of who we're going to be signing we're going to be getting into that as well very soon guys this season is almost over the jesus garcia season is almost over there may just be two epic live streams to come if we can get the results we need to get to the playoffs we'll have to wait and see here we come forward <coughs> getting this game kicked off now as uh not in forest looking to get a chance away and here they come forward in the 14th minute for the first chance of the game valios on the ball looking to push forward he's got a good chance here laying it central there to cloud cloud takes a really good turn there lays it central but just in time that's gets the good tackle in there and we managed to get that one clear cash on the ball now looking to get this one centralized get a tackle in there from rico henry but the ball doesn't make it far away and a shot there from valios has it saved from bentley at the near pose very well saved as well 31st minute in this game guys we're coming forward with a chance of our own now Mapai there laying it to Judge Judge checking a good chance on the edge of the area what a shot there just wide of the goal wasn't able to get that one on target and the 45th minute is about to get here now guys and Joseph Foon's trying to make his way forward here getting a good tackle back on the ball but getting tackled as he tries to get that one cleared out and it looks like we're going to be heading into the break in this game of half time guys currently at 0-0 not a bad first half but quite a boring one not really many chances for Brentford but we have got a great chance in the second half to push on and get all three points from this game with a couple of goals hopefully if we can score them if Nottingham Forest go and get a goal or two this may well be the end of Brentford season right here so hopefully we can do it and get a decent result here we come forward now with a chance in the 56th minute laying it off there Watkins oh, looking to get a chance here for Mapai. Mapai twists and turns on the edge of the area laying it back to Watkins there with the shot and he just can't quite get it on target and it's just gone wide of the goal here we come forward now in the 59th minute with a chance for in there laying it to Watkins Watkins perfect through ball here to Mapai. Mapai to take the shot here and make it 1-0 in this game Mapai goes and scores the first goal of this one and makes it 1-0 on the score line. Getting the ball past the Nottingham Forest defence. Great three ball there from Watkins. And Mapai gets through a goal and a one-touch finish. She's hits the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this game in the 60th minute. Very, very great 
goal indeed. And guys, we've taken the lead here. Three points is on the cards, that is for sure. Great ball there to Mapai. One touch there and a second touch to finish it into the back of the net. And we've gone 1-0 up in this game. That's his ninth goal of the season. One more goal and he's in double figures with the season coming to a close. We've got a great chance to push up to those playoff places. We'll have to wait and see how the rest of this game goes. Hopefully we can hold it till the last whistle. And here they come forward, making their way forward now with a chance of their own. Can they do it here? Can they get an equalizing goal and really ruin our day? They're going to come forward now. Jack Clow with a chance here. Looks to get a shot away then. It's just narrowly gone over the bar. Very lucky for Brentford. Not that he didn't get that one on target. But here we come with a counter-attack. 78 minutes played. Can we get this one inside the area? Edwards there. Langer to Watkins. Watkins on the ball. Langer to Mapai. Mapai lays it perfectly through to Sawyers. And Sawyers goes and makes it 2-0 in this game. 80 minutes played, guys. And we may have just got ourselves the three points in this one. Sawyers coming on for Joseph Foon not long ago. Goes and nets his first touch of the ball with a very nice finish. Look at this, guys. Mapai there with an assist as well. He's playing so well at striking position. Definitely liking having him in the squad. And uh, as you can see, there remains Sawyers with his fifth goal of the season in the 80th minute, guys. So we've gone and taken a 2-0 lead now. Can we hold this till the final whistle? It looks like we might just do it. We've been pretty dominant in this game. Can we hold it till the last minute? Or are they going to come back with a goal or two? Hopefully, they won't do that. But look, as you can see, 80th minute coming forward now is that chance. But just then, we get a tackle and nothing comes of it. Here we come down the left wing now. Sawyers on the ball once again. They're good, fresh legs. Really giving some extra energy to the squad. Mapai making his way forward there. Langer back to Sawyers. Sawyers coming through with a chance now in the 83rd minute to make it 3-0 in this game. And unlucky for him, the keeper made a good save and it goes out. Guys, 90th minute in this game. It looks like it's almost over. Mapai making his way forward for the last chance of the game. Can we put this one in the back of the net? Lay it there nicely to Watkins. Watkins takes a shot at cross goal. And this game ends at 2-0 on the scoreline. Great, uh, great victory for us here today. We've got a very, very nice two uh, goals in that game. Three points on the table. And we're going to be heading out of this episode and out of this game with four points from this episode, which is really not that bad. Six would have been ideal, but we just weren't meant to get it in that first game. But guys, this season is almost over. There's about four, I think three or four more games left to go. And uh, we've got a good chance here. As you can see, coming up in the next episode, guys, we've got two big games. We've got one against Fulham on the 13th of April. And then we've got another game against QPR on the 21st. So they're both quite big games and quite tricky games. Hopefully we can do something against them, Fulham and uh, QPR. As you can see, we're up to ninth place with 66 points, guys. We're so close to that playoff place. Can we get it in the coming episodes? Can we do it? We need to get to the playoffs this season. That'll be the most epic conclusion, guys. Uh, see you all in the next episode. This one's finished for now. And we're going to be doing some epic stuff with the Jesus Garcia live stream very soon. So I'll see you all then. Peace out.